Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is the end of January. Uh, it's the 31st and today is, this has been a fantastic start to a new year. It's 2013 and as far as exposing the abuses of the Church of Scientology, the year has rocked. I mean, first of all, we have Lawrence Wright's book, which I showed you, excellent book on facts about the church and experiences people had in it. Then um, Nancy Maney's docu docudrama was on, it's on YouTube if you missed it. I'll put the link here if I can. Um, Paul Haggis did an interview on either NBC or ABC, one of the major channels, w about, you know, with Lawrence, um, or regarding what was in the book regarding Lawrence. Um, there's just been some really good, you know, major TV things to the media, you know, kudos. Tony Ortega's just been rocking. It's It's been a really, really good start to the month. And if this is any indicator of this year, which I think it is, it is going to be a huge year for all of us in a very good way. In a very good way for us. Not a good way for you, Davey boy. But I've told you forever, tick-tock, tick-tock, time is on our side. And it is. And it continues to be. So today, I'm talking about a very, very serious subject. It's called Scientology and High School Scams. What's happening, and I talked to someone yesterday, so this is happening now. It's not like one of those days years ago they used to do it. They're still doing it. And uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Okay, so first of all, they're going on to high school campuses. They did this years ago, so I know personally they do it. They basically get kids off of the campus, get them signed up for Scientology staff, and now they're hooked into a billion-year contract. So any parents watching this, if you have young people, start educating them on do not take a stress test, do not do anything that isn't on the school curriculum, okay? Because that's what they do. They come on. They're not on the school curriculum. The school should not be allowing them to do this. So parents, if you are listening to this, I would check with your school and ask, is is Scientology in any way, in any form, anything about L. Ron Hubbard on this campus? You know, are they testing people? Are they teaching people about Narconon, which is a thing they were in all the public schools here in, the, in California. And thanks to Dave Turetsky and a bunch of people, myself included, we ended up getting them kicked out of the, the state of California because it is a breach of church and state. Right. And they get, we exposed that and that they are definitely under the umbrella of the Church of Scientology, no matter what they say, which they lie through their teeth. And sure enough, they gave him two weeks to get all anything that was religious out of their Narconon pitch. They can't for the tech. And so they kicked him out. That was it. But I'm sure they're weaseling into other schools. So you have to check with your school. Are the kids? What's the drug education program? Who runs it? Is it Narconon? Is it? Is there anything by L. Ron Hubbard on this campus? And make sure it isn't. You know, and if you need to, you know, have, you know, get a video off of the internet and show it at a PTA meeting. If you want to, and you're local, I'll come talk to the PTA. I mean, I would be happy to. I really would. I this year, I really want to educate schools and churches on how these people are sneaking into your communities and not doing good things. They are not. They're pretending. They are totally, totally sheep's and wool. Uh, you know, wolves in sheep's clothing. That is exactly the Church of Scientology and what they do. So, for any young people, why does that matter to you? A, because you should finish your education. Scientology is not going to be your solution to your life. It is not. B, you should go to college or some training in something that you can hang a, you can, you know for the rest of your life, you can do it, work at it, and get paid at it. And that's a big call because a lot of things are getting changed, but you can go on the internet and find what careers are going to be really happening 20, 30 years from now. And there are some that'll be around for a very long time. Get trained in one of those so that you can always work. No matter how great these guys sound. I mean, they sound like, oh my God. They were telling the kids when my son was in high school, the world is going to come to an end. Gavin Potter was. He was running this program. And I will say his name because if you hear him at all, keep your kids away from him as far as they can. 
He threatened these kids that the end of the world was coming. And I know people listening to it are going to go, who would ever believe that? But you know what? When kids are kids and they're by themselves and they've got them crunched in, they were saying the world is coming to an end. In two years, your parents are going to be dead if you don't join the Sea Org and help handle the planet. Okay, now that's, you know, we know you can laugh about it all you want, but these kids are still leaving high school because of stuff like this. And Gavin Potter, if you hear this, the least you could do is come on the internet and expose what a bunch of BS that is, how false it is, how incorrect it is, how many kids you've taken out of schools and put them into the Sea Org where you know they're not having the life that they promote and promise. It's not a good life. It's a very, very bad life. It's a very hard life. It's, it's like a slave camp. They're working and working and working. And there's always that promise they're going to get the bridge to total freedom. Well, most Scientologists' staff are not even clear. The vast majority of them are not even clear. They're certainly not OT. Not that that makes any difference to any staff that might hear this. Be happy you're not. Because it just traps you more into the trap. It's just a bigger in a bigger trap. So it's fine. But... As far as kids that are on, in high school, please don't get with them. Don't. You know, your parents said to you when you were a little kid, don't play with fire. It's the same kind of thing with these guys. They're good at what they do. Do not even sit down with them. Don't talk to them. I would report them to your school and make sure that they get off the campus because they're, if they don't get you, they're going to get somebody else. And, and I know I sound serious on this, and I am. I think it's awful. L. Ron Hubbard said kids should be out of school by the age of 15 and doing hard labor. Oh, yeah, right. That, mm -hmm, that's, that's really cool. So, parents, you got to understand. You can think, oh, this would never happen to my kid. Really? Well, somebody just called me yesterday who was a kid who they did come to their high school, and they were trying to get him out of it. Now, luckily, this person was smart enough to go on the Internet and read both sides. But not everybody is. They're, they've got a pretty good, you know, and look who's in it, and Tom Cruise, and John from Bolt, and blah, blah, blah. And it's just so great. And look at our video, how happy everybody is, and they're just doing so fabulous. Great. You know, that, that sounds really good, doesn't it? It's what kept me in for a very long time. Because what they do is they isolate you then, and then it's like, well, everyone else is doing great. You're the only person having a problem. So then you get into this trap of, well, I've got to fix me because I'm the only problem. Not realizing it didn't work for anybody else either. It's just they aren't allowed to talk about it once they get in. It's a very bad trap. So I'm warning you. I'm telling you, if you're a high school student, stay in high school, get educated, finish your education, get trained in something that you can make money in because you're going to work for a very long time in your life, whether you know it or not. And I know tons of kids want to be actors musicians, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. Great. I have no problem with that. But get trained in something that you can make money in while you're doing your art. Because that is one of the biggest destructions of artists is they don't have any way to make money. And so then they have to give up their art to go get some stupid job where they're making eight bucks an hour. So get trained in something, work in the day, do your art at night or vice versa until it takes off. And once it takes off, then you're an artist, right? But in the meantime, you've got something that's bringing in some money. So you're not a waiter. You're not a waitress. You're not, you know, doing, you know, sweeping streets, whatever, doing stuff that's like, give me a break. It's so far from being an artist. And anybody else, it's just important that you get trained in something that you like to do. Not something that's just something. But get trained in something you like to do. You got to get this phone call. I love you guys. And uh, it's Thursday, so have a wonder, and for part of the world, Friday. So anyway, happy weekend. I love you guys, and happy February. Bye-bye.